What is up everyone, this is Diamond12 here and welcome to another X and Y battle. Before the battle starts, however, I want to say something really quick. I want to apologize for the inactivity and the lack of videos. Um, the real reason behind that is because work has just been taking over. Like I've had a lot of uh, work days and um, you know, after you come back from work, you don't have the motivation to do anything. So um, I'm gonna try and record and narrate and upload as much as possible. Um, you know, I'm gonna do it everything today because today I have a day off. And uh, so, you know, if I have to do everything today, I have everything recorded, rendered and stuff like that. And I can easily upload them um, on the days I have work as well. So that's what I want to do. But enough of that. Let's get on to the battle. As you can see, I'm facing Christopher again, also known as Nitos Commander. I will, if you haven't checked him out already yet, um, which you really should, his link will be in the description down below. He uploads X and Y Wi-Fi battles as well, also narrated, and uh, you know he uploads a lot of stuff as well, like the Mario Kart and things like that. So please do check him out. Um, however, let's, that's enough of that. Let's get on to the battle uh, team preview. I don't want to ramble too much. Um, as you can see, I'm using like a weird mix of Pokemon uh, of tiers. Like uh, there's like you using there and you and stuff like that. Um, I try to, you know, not to use too much OU stuff, so it's kind of a weird mixy team. Um, I'm using the Assault as Marowak, which thus, thus far it hasn't really been that um, great for me. But, uh, you know, I do did just want to use it because, you know, I mean, it's a Marowak and it's pretty fun to use. So I'm um, using the Cradley. Cradley is like my favorite and you. Cradley is so awesome. Uh, but uh, this Cradley is my, my old, set, old uh, moveset. Uh, the new moveset is with Recover, which I have no idea why I didn't have that on my old Cradley because that's like a must-have for Cradley, but I guess it's whatever. So he, his team looks really, really powerful. He has the Azel, the Heliolisk, the Virizion, and the Mega Charizard. What Mega Charizard it is? Well, we'll have to find it out in the video. And then he has, of course, the Choice Man that we bow, which is really, really powerful. And then the annoying Gliscor. So. Um, yeah, let's get on to the battle and see what is going to happen. So I wasn't really sure what he was going to lead with, but I was thinking either Azel or Weavile, so I decided to go into my Jolteon because I know I could outspeed them both. Um, and I could just go for a Volt Switch to, you know, do some damage while not getting completely destroyed. So uh, I'm gonna go into my Jolteon right here, go for the Volt Switch, uh, he is going to go for the Knock off, obviously, um, that would have probably just killed me, and the Volt Switch uh, is not going to kill him. I'm gonna switch out going to my Suicune, because Suicune can take physical hits really well, because I am physically defensive. So that Knock off is, uh, it's still gonna do a lot, but it's not gonna do, uh, you know, that uh, as much as it would do on the Jolteon. So, um, I, my knock, uh, my knock off do get knocked off though, which is really, really annoying. And um, I really thought he was gonna switch here. Uh, because, you know, a Scott would just kill this thing, but for some reason he decided to stay in and go for another knockoff, uh, which is really bad for me because I did go for the Calm Mind, and that means that my Suicune dies now to a knockoff, which is really unfortunate, but I can now go into my Jolteon and just kill him, but he knows that he's going to switch out this time, and he is going to go into his Gliscor. Obviously, my Electricity is not going to do shit to this Gliscor, and uh, yeah, I have to pretty much switch out right here. Um, it's really bad though because I cannot do anything against this uh, Gliscor right here. The best thing I can do is go into my Cradley uh, because I, I, I my Suicune is dead. I have nothing for this thing. Like it would have perfect. My Suicune would have been perfect for this Gliscor because that poison wouldn't matter on my Suicune because I have rest. But Suicune fainted. It was really sad, really sad. But uh, yeah, uh, he goes for the taunt, which is really unfortunate. That means that I cannot go for uh, things like uh, protect and toxic anymore. So uh, I really want to go for toxic anyway. I mean, I don't have recover on this thing, like I said, um, which is kind of unfortunate. But you know, it wouldn't have really mattered here because you know he did have the taunt. Uh, so we decided to go for earthquake just to try and get me lower and lower to get with poison. Uh, I just keep going for uh, Giga Drains because that's the best thing I can do. So he is uh, gonna go for the Roost. I know he was gonna go and do that. So I decided to go ahead and go for the Giga Drain one more time to get the uh, 
super effective hit on him. Um, and after that, I really had to switch because the poison would just kill me, like, so, so fast. So, yeah, he's gonna go for the roost, get some of his HP back, and this Giga Drain is, even though it's super effective, it still isn't gonna do that much. It is gonna do not even half, uh, which is unfortunate, because um, if that would have done half, then that would have been, uh, you know, slightly better. But, whatever, it doesn't really matter, I, I guess, because, you know, it's only some damage. Um, I can't really do much to this thing anyway because he's gonna boost up and it's just he's just gonna talk to tell me so I have to switch out right here um, he is going to switch out as well which um, I was really surprised about because he could just want me to death but uh, yeah he goes to vision though I guess that is the better choice right here because he could just kill me with a fighting type move um, I end up going into my Marowak right here I knew I could take one uh, special grass type move at least uh, because I do have the assault vest and I decided to go for the double edge just to get a little bit of damage off of him. Uh, I don't have the ice punch, so I cannot really uh, deal super effective uh, damage on him. Uh, I don't. Do, can Marowak learn ice punching? If if Marowak can learn ice punch, I actually think I will give Marowak ice punch uh, instead of what the uh, instead of the double edge because the double edge just doesn't uh, do all too good for me. But. Um, I decided to go into my Alakazam because I know I could take at least one Giga Drain. And if I decided to go for the Calm Mind, that would have been even better because uh, I could just go for the Psy Shock and uh, kill him. Uh, I ended up doing that now even though he did go for the Giga Drain. Um, I, my Alakazam was really low here, so I decided to go and father him off. I sh really shouldn't have done that. I really should have gone into Epsil because I do have to be justified. And the knockoff would have given me a boost and I could just pretty much wreck his whole team. But... Uh, yeah, that doesn't happen. My Alakazam is gone now. I am going to go into my episode right now, though. I'm going to go and Mega Evolve um, right before his eyes. And he's going to go into Glass Core, obviously, because that's his physical wall, and I can't do shit to this Glass Core. So, yeah, the Mega Evolution is here. I am Mega Absol. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, I'm so funny. But, yeah, I'm going to go for the knockoff, and that is going to do a nice amount of damage. Knock off his Toxic Orb, which really doesn't matter because he does have the poison already. Um, I decided to go for a, a switch here, um, go into my Spark, uh, thinking he would go for the Roost because that would have been this best option right here. And this was the perfect opportunity to, you know, uh, think that I made a really dumb decision. You know, I mean, obviously he could just Earthquake me. So, but he doesn't know that I have the HP Ice, um, which pro he probably should have uh, known that I had it. And uh, a choice specs, hidden power ice, four times super effective. That Gliscor is not gonna leave it. He's not. He's absolutely not. So uh, that is Gliscor gone, and now he ha is going to go into Charizard. Since I'm locked into HP ice, I don't want to stay in, uh, and I'm just gonna go into my Marowak uh, because I really have nothing else to go into. I wasn't really sure if it was Y or X either, so I didn't want to risk going into my Cradley. A uh, good thing I didn't because, you know, uh, he is actually Mega X and this Flareblade would have completely destroyed my Cradley. But, you know, now it's going to completely destroy my Marowak. So, uh, yeah, rest in peace. Rest in pieces, Marowak. Goodbye, Marowak. You did good, even though you didn't do that much. You just double-edged the Revision. But, good job. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go into my... Um, uh, Absol right here, and I'm gonna be absolutely amazing. Why, why did I make that? Why did I make a pun again? Really? Really? I should stop that. Alright, I'm gonna go for the knockoff here, because that's my best move to go for. If I went for Sucker Punch, he probably could have gone into Dragon Dance, or go for the Switch, what he does now. Uh, but for some reason, he goes to the Azelf. Well, that thing is gonna get completely wrecked by my knockoff. <laughs> Goodbye, Azelf. Uh, that Azelf couldn't do anything uh, there. So, um, he's gonna go to Weavile. Um, I actually could have gone for the Sucker Punch and killed this thing, but I wasn't sure if it was going to, uh, you know, kill him, or, you know, make him faint, as I should properly say it, but, you know, uh, I decided to go for the Cradley, just to father it off, I mean, Cradley was pretty much dead anyway, because I really didn't need the Cradley all that much either, so... I'm gonna go back into my Jolteon right here, go for a nice Thunderbolt uh, that would do a nice damage to everything on this field. You know, even though they resisted, like the Sea Lilith resisted, this Thunderbolt is still a 3 at KO. And since I outspeed him next turn, I can just, uh, you know, 
do a lot more damage. I decided to stay in because, you know, I he, he has nothing to hit me with. Like, the best thing he can do is surf, but that is definitely not gonna kill me. Like, if he, even if he was choice packs, that's not gonna kill me. Which he's not, he's life orb. As you can see, he lost some HP. And uh, I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt, and that's goodbye, Helio this game. So, uh, he has that one one annoying Charizard left now, and he is Weavile. Um, I might have been able to switch. Uh, well, actually, no, what am I saying? Uh, th this switch is a better option. I go for the Thunderbolt, do a nice amount of damage against the Charizard uh, before I die to a. or before I faint to an Earthquake. So, goodbye, Jolton. I'm gonna go into my Absol right now. And uh, I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch because I know that could take him out. And you know, even if he went for Dragon Dance, yet yeah, I guess that would kind of destroy me because Dragon Dance has more PP than Sucker Punch. So yeah, that would have been kind of bad. But I, I'm not even sure if he has Dragon Dance because he hasn't really shown it. But why wouldn't you have Dragon Dance on your Mega X Charizard? So yeah, I'm gonna go in and go for the Sucker Punch, hoping that would kill the Eevee Battle, and thankfully it does, and that will seal the match. A nice one ho. Uh, one ho, no one o, and um, yeah, that was an amazing battle. Um, it was absolutely amazing. <sighs> wow, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Bye.